say goodbye to drills as a new cavity filling technique that uses electrical current could be available to the public in three years. And a fungus in the soil of Nova Scotia has been found to help combat antibiotic resistant superbugs. So on behalf of the rest of the world, thank you Canadian dirt. Vsauce, Kevin here. This is my world. The Cruise RP1 is the first highway autopilot for your car. The device keeps your car in its lane a safe distance from the car in front of you and is always watching the road even if you aren't. It can be installed on your existing vehicle so you can sit back and let the car do the work by controlling the steering, throttle, and braking. And they're taking pre-orders for 2015 right now. The cozy room lets you hide from everything. The Japanese relaxation room comes with space for a TV or a computer, shelves to display collections, and a personal desk. It costs $8,000, but unfortunately doesn't include plumbing, a refrigerator, or air conditioning. Pelty is a high quality speaker that runs off the power from a single wax candle. It turns the thermal energy from the candle into enough electric energy to power the speaker and amplify the music. And it has no wires and connects via Bluetooth, making it eco-friendly and easy to transport. A group of chimps have created a fashion trend. When popular chimp Julie stuck a piece of grass in her ear back in 2010, it caught on with all the other chimps. Now they're all doing it. So yeah. The Rewalk is the first FDA-approved exoskeleton for use in the home and in the community. The robotic device enables hip and knee motion, allowing those with spinal cord injuries to stand. When the user tilts forward, the walking motion is activated, and repeated shifting creates a sequence of steps. The Rewalk has the ability to sit, stand, turn, and climb stairs, giving paraplegics extensive mobility options to explore. ETA is a human-powered bike capable of going 133.8 kilometers per hour, and it looks like a giant bullet on wheels. The rider sits comfortably inside and uses displays from cameras to see the road. It won't be able to be used on highways anytime soon due to its inability to survive a collision and low visibility. But they hope that in the future this technology could be used for a cleaner alternative to driving. Engineers at the University of Illinois are creating biobots. These biological robots are powered by muscle cells and controlled with electrical impulses. They're using skeletal muscle cells because of their ability to be controlled, making it possible to customize each bot for a specific task or application. This is the first step in developing biological machines that can be programmed and trained to do work. Luke Butcher of Cambridge believes skinny wormholes could be kept stable long enough to send a beam of light carrying a message anywhere in the universe or throughout time itself. This is theoretical, but awesome. Smart bricks are like giant Lego for building houses, bridges, and sidewalks. The large concrete kite bricks are designed to be easily joined together, and the company claims these building materials provide a 50% reduction in building costs, and they hope to implement the technology everywhere from Africa to Manhattan. British Airways created a happiness blanket. It changes color to reflect the mood of the wearer by measuring electrical fluctuations with the headband and sending the information to fiber optic lights woven into the fabric, with red meaning stressed and blue meaning relaxed. They use this information to test changes they made on board, such as entertainment and sleeping options, so they could see the actual physical effects these had on passengers. The EcoCycle is a 3D printer that uses post-consumer waste as printing material. Each cartridge turns three 20-ounce plastic bottles into anything from accessories to decorations. And they say it's not just a tool for making, but remaking things and changing the way people think about recycling. Finally, Confluence is a short film using macro and microscopes shot in 4K with a red cam. I'm gonna leave you with a crash-proof drone, and as always, thanks for watching.